Owning a building has had a profound effect on our credibility. When I met Deirdre 26 years ago, I said, we were talking about our dreams. I was like, I've always wanted a toy store. And she was like, we're going to open our toy store in retirement. And then the pandemic hit and we lost a lot of people. And all of a sudden retirement or even tomorrow was no longer guaranteed. We really had thought that, you know, to buy a commercial building, we had to come in with 50% down and we didn't have it. And then this option came up and we started learning about what this was. And we were just like, wow, this is actually possible. Got connected with John and he was phenomenal. I mean, he walked us through so patiently. We got an entire PhD in how to do SBA financing. Our credibility as business owners has gone up exponentially. People look to us, we've been invited to be part of committees. And prior to that, you know, we were just renters on Main Street, you know? <laughs> like, and now we're business owners on Main Street. And, you know, owning a building has had a profound effect on our credibility. And as women and as, as a same-sex couple, and in the business world, there is something to that. We did worry a lot about, you know, how we would be received in the community, and we were nervous. It really made something possible that I don't think we had reach for otherwise. Shy a miracle of somebody who said, here, I'll loan this to you personally, you know what I mean? And it's not like we have a Rolodex of people like that. And it becomes its own investment. Even if the business is not making money hand over fist, your real estate is a solid investment. And so talking about retirement, taking that into retirement and at a point in our retirement where maybe we don't want the business anymore, we still have that asset.